If you love football, you probably know the name of Ferenc Puskás, one of the greatest players of all time and the sport's first international superstar. He was referred to as the Hungarian goal-scoring machine who took Europe by storm in the 1940s, 50s and 60s and was regarded as one of the best players in the history of the sport. But do you know his amazing story? In this video, we will tell you more about his life and his incredible achievements. Ferenc Puskás was born on April 2, 1927, in Budapest, Hungary. He started playing football at a young age and joined the professional club Kispest, later Honvéd, at the age of 15. He soon became a star, scoring 352 goals in 341 games for the club. He also led the Hungarian national team, known as the Golden Team or the Mighty Magyars, to glory in the 1950s. They were a source of national pride during a time of communist oppression, providing a rare outlet for patriotic expression through their international sporting success. Besides Puskás, the team's core included iconic players like Sándor Kocsis, Nandor Hidekuti, Zoltán Cibor, József Pozsik and Gyula Grosics under the management of Gustav Sebes. They won the Olympic gold medal in 1952 and reached the World Cup final in 1954, where Puskás was named the best player of the tournament. In total, he scored 84 goals in 85 games for Hungary, making him one of the most prolific scorers in international football history. On the 25th of November 1953, Puskás scored two goals in a historic match against England. In what was later referred to as the match of the century, Hungary defeated England with a score of 6-3 at Wembley Stadium in London in front of a crowd of 105,000 spectators. This was a significant event in football history as it led to a review of the training and tactics used by the England team. In 1958, after the Hungarian Revolution, Puskás emigrated to Spain, where he joined Real Madrid. He was already 31 years old, but he still had a lot to offer. He formed a legendary partnership with Alfredo Di Stefano and helped Real Madrid win three European Cups, five Spanish League titles and one Spanish Cup. He scored 242 goals in 262 games for Real Madrid, including four goals in the famous 7-3 victory over Eintracht Frankfurt in the 1960 European Cup final. Pancho, as he was called by his teammates, also played four games for Spain's national team, becoming one of the few players to represent two countries. Puskás retired from playing in 1967 and became a manager. He coached teams in Spain, Greece, Egypt, Canada, Paraguay, Chile and Australia. He also returned to Hungary in 1993 to coach the national team for a short period. He 
He died on November 17, 2006 in Budapest at the age of 79. Ferenc Puskás is widely regarded as one of the best players ever and one of the most influential figures in football history. He was known for his incredible left foot, his dribbling skills, his vision and his leadership. He was admired by fans and peers alike for his fair play and sportsmanship. He received many awards and honors during and after his career, such as the fourth ranking in FIFA Golden Ball, the Ballon d'Or Silver Award and the FIFA Order of Merit. The FIFA Puskás Award was established in 2009 in his honor and is given to the scorer of the most beautiful goal of each year. Ferenc Puskás was more than a football player. He was a legend, a hero and an inspiration. He left an indelible mark on the game and on the hearts of millions of fans around the world. He was truly the galloping major, as he was nicknamed by his admirers. As a tribute to his legacy and memory, on April 2, 2002, the People's Stadium in Budapest was renamed Puskás Ferenc Stadium. After its demolition in 2016 due to poor structural condition, a new facility opened its gates to the public on November 15, 2019, the Puskás Arena.